call forwarding can be a really useful feature if you're traveling, if you just don't want to be bothered by someone because you're on vacation, you know, all sorts of circumstances. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use call forwarding on your Android phone. Um, we're going to do, do it using your phone settings. We're going to also look at using dialer codes as another option. We're going to look at third party apps. And then finally, you can just contact your carrier or use their app to change your call forward settings with most carriers. So first using your phone settings, to do that you open up, you click the phone app. I'm on a Pixel 7 phone. All Android phones will differ a little bit. Um, for this demo, it's a Pixel phone. You click on the three dots on the top right and then click on settings. So within settings, you're going to calling accounts is the option you select there. And within that, you'll see your carrier listed. I'm using Google Fi, but for someone else, it might say Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, whatever. You click on that, and then you go down to call forwarding. So for me, I noticed that it takes, you know, quite a bit of time. On my phone, it took like 15 seconds or something. You'll go in there, and you'll see a few options. There's one that says always forward. So this is anytime someone dials your number, it'll always forward to another number. Now, if you, got, if you have multiple phones, you just want it to all route there. You want it to go to a friend's phone, you know, you name it. When busy, so this is if you're on the phone using it, it'll go somewhere and busy. We've got when unanswered, if you don't answer the phone, and then when unreachable. Um, so those are some of the options you have in the phone settings directly. Some of the options were grayed out earlier when I was playing around with this and it, I noticed I had to go into Google Fi, into my carrier app, and I found that out by just reading about it on Reddit. Um, so within Google Fi, you scroll down and you look at call forwarding. So click on that and you can just add a number. So this will forward calls to a certain number that you put in. You can put the name of the person who it's forwarding to, etc. And then it will ask you to verify this it'll send you back a, a text code, which you'll put in um, just to verify that, or by call. It says verify by call or text. Another way to change your call forwarding settings is using dialer codes on an Android phone. So a popular one, which is unconditional call forwarding, you do a star symbol, 21, another star, and then you'll dial, and then you'll type in the phone number that you want calls to forward to. So once you do that, you press call, all of your incoming calls will then forward to that number. There are also other call forwarding dialer codes, which I don't expect you to remember, but we've listed some of them right here. So here are some of the other dialing codes. Same process, you put star, the code in star, and then the phone number that you want to forward to. So that's how you use dialer codes as another option. A third option, I mentioned we'll talk about is using a third party app for forwarding. One that we like a lot is called Easy Call Forwarding. So you just go into the Google Play Store, download Easy Call Forwarding, um, set it up. You're going to click Forwarding is enabled. If you click the toggle this on, it will enable it. It will ask you for a destination number. Um, you'll select your provider. So there's a big list of providers in here. And I don't see Google Fi on here, so maybe they don't work with Google Fi. Uh, not a lot of people use it, at least that I know. Um, but there are all sorts of other carriers, AT&T, others on here. So there are some limitations. You need to be using one of the carriers on here um, for easy call forwarding. Last option is your carrier themselves may be able to set up call forwarding. For you, so Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, etc. You'd have to check with them, either look in their app on the forwarding, like I did with the Google Fi app. You could call them maybe, like if your phone was dead or you lost it and you have a different phone or a friend's phone, you may be able to contact your carrier, ask them to forward all calls to another number so you won't at least miss the calls uh, that you would be getting otherwise. So those are a few methods on how to use call forwarding. Um, so also a note, if you're going international and you want to forward calls internationally, this may not work because there's different charges associated with that or roaming fees, etc. 
Um, so this would probably be domestic where you're at located right now. I hope this video is helpful for you. I hope you're able to forward your calls in using one of these easy methods. If you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you again soon.